I was sent this DC and Revolution PR box, so let's do some makeup. Makeup Revolution ended up sending me this PR box, and I wanted to do some Poison Ivy makeup based upon what exactly was in here, and you can see all of that makeup at the end of this video. Now, there were two palettes that were in here, and I decided that I was going to go with the Poison Ivy palette rather than the Harley Quinn one to go and make a Poison Ivy inspired look from this makeup palette. Starting off, I wanted to use some primer. Now, it is always a great idea to use primer to really have your makeup stick on, and because I was starting off with a powder base, along with also using powder throughout this entire makeup, I wanted everything to lay pretty flat. I used some of the lighter green, along with also the darker green eyeshadow that was in this palette, and I started off with just the lighter green, put some of the darker green at the edges, and I blended it together. Now, in the center, I went over to the Harley Quinn palette, and I used some of the shimmery gold, which you will see in just a second. And I really do love how this makes the green pop, along with also, too, how it pulls a lot of the green out of my eyes. If you want to do similar makeup to this, this is definitely such a pretty look, and it really, really works extremely well together. So after I blend that, then I went and I took off just any extra bit of the eyeshadow and also the powder, because the glittery base eyeshadow definitely did have a lot that kind of just went everywhere made sure to go and clean up some of the eyeshadow put some on my bottom lid as well too and now on to some of the foundation and now we can fast forward that and after that has been all blended out then i moved on to going and putting some of this green powdered cosmetic and this was more of the eyeshadow that i really really loved as the base to the rest of the makeup on my face i went around my cheekbones top of my forehead and also where my chin is then i went back with some of the darker green that i had after i had that light layer down and i went and i blended this at the top along with also where my cheekbones are and I really feel like this adds just so much to the makeup and it gives a lot more color to my face. After that layer of cosmetic was down, then I went over with some of this almost rose gold kind of pink color. And this is nice and shiny and really makes my cheekbones pop. Then I contoured my nose with some of the green as well too, a very, very light amount of it. After the base was done, then I went and I mixed up some silicone modeling compound, and this stuff is great. Pretty much what you do is you mix it up, you have about 10 minutes to go and work with it, and you can make some pretty realistic looking things, or you can just go and make some raised areas on your skin. And what I wanted to do is I wanted to make it look like some ivy was branching out of my mouth, along with also around the rest of my face. And this just really made this look so incredibly cool. You could always use liquid latex as well for this, or some other sort of cosmetic too that might really just make it pop. Or you could always just draw it on with maybe some eyeshadow or eyeliner. After the silicone compound fully and totally set, and it took just about the whole 10 minutes for it to do so, I glued down these pieces of fake ivy at the ends of all of these different areas here. And I did have some of this that was branching from the side of where my face was, along with also on my forehead. I waited for all of that to go and dry. And then what I did was I took more ivy and I put it around my neck. To glue all of these pieces of ivy down, I used some water-based acrylic adhesive. And this is a skin-safe adhesive that is extremely strong, great for a lot of different materials, and usually what I do tend to use for a lot of my special effects makeup because it just keeps everything in place. For my neck, I put down two different layers of this ivy. One was smaller and then one was larger. After all of those pieces were down and fully and totally dried and in place, then I went back to where my lips were, and I used some of this green lipstick that was in the PR box. And I wanted to put just a very light layer of it to kind of make it look like it was blended in with where this ivy was coming out. Here's the final look. I love how it turned out, and the silicone compound really just brought this look completely and totally together. Thank you again, Revolution, for sending me this awesome PR box. But let's get to what exactly was in the PR box now. My favorite thing in this DC and Revolution PR box had to be this eyeshadow palette. Now, I absolutely love the colors in here. I also really did love the mirror too. It is just cute, really pretty, and a lot of these colors are really elegant. Now, what was in here were two different eyeshadows. One of them was a Harley Quinn-based one, and one of them was a Poison Ivy. 
The Harley Quinn one had blue along with also pink. And these were along the lines of almost like a pastel color. For the Poison Ivy one, it was black along with green. Now what was in here was a lip gloss that was a green color along with also a lip liner that was red. I really love the shade of red and I love the shade of green from here too and you could see it in the makeup that I did. What was in here was the Harley Quinn lipstick along with also a lip liner. Now the lipstick was a really pretty red. I didn't end up using this, but I will be using it for a different makeup and I know exactly which makeup I wanna go and use this for. I love the shade of red in here. And this lip kit also came with a black liner. Now the contrast between these two is going to be great and I know exactly what I'm gonna do for this makeup. Now onto the beauty blender. All of Revolution's beauty blenders are always so great. All of the ones that I have received have been so incredibly squishy, but this one is a little bit different. It has Harley Quinn's signature diamonds on it, which I absolutely love. There was also the Harley Quinn palette, and this one had some really nice pinks in it. I don't have a lot of pink colors, so I'm extremely excited for this palette. There were also these face stickers, which I'm definitely going to use for another makeup. Thank you again, Revolution, for sending me this PR box. It came just in time for Halloween. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. There's more tutorials on my profile.